a brief Bible prophecy update. Um, I want to talk about a few things before we get into the message, and and because uh, we've been, you know, we did a whole series on Revelation. I believe we're living in in the days before the Lord's return. One of the things that's been going on lately in Israel, if you've heard, Israel has a new government now. They have a new government. Uh, Netanyahu, who had been uh, prime minister for like 12 years, um, lost the seat uh, by uh, actually a, another right guy on the right. But the thing is, he only has six people with him. But what he did, he got a bunch of people from other sects, other of, of, uh, of the of, 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 of the Israeli government that went with him, and he got some that were even you know Muslim, and so. So the government kind of headed towards from right, way to kind of more to left, and, and so forth. Even though the guy that's prime minister, he's going to share that prime minister for two years, and then the, the other guy from the other party is going to do it for two years. It's, it's a little bit different than our government here, but either way, uh, it, it's kind of going in a way where Israel might be more open to form... Uh, assign a treaty or something so in the future when the Antichrist does arrive they'll be more inclined to sign a deal okay because Netanyahu is more the you know he's gonna fight if there's anybody trying to do anything against Israel and and so that's been happening there's, there's Israel's being tested right now and that's why you, you see Hamas notice why Hamas started throwing rockets towards Israel and whatever they're being tested and so forth but but of course uh, Netanyahu was still in, in power when that happened. But they're trying other things. But here's what's been happening. Uh, the, the other interesting thing that's happening is, is uh, there's been fires that have been going on in Iran. Ships, a ship that got f a fire. We don't know how. Well, <laughs> we have some ideas. Israel's been fighting a secret war and attacking anything in Iran that has to do with building the nuclear bomb you know with building the bomb and so there's been chemical plants they said that was used for medical but Israel the in other words their FBI kind of they know there's something else going on and so <laughs> the, there was a factory that did a that was making in Iran that was making drones that was that was designed to attack Israel well Israel just they won't say they did it but the factory got on fire and, uh, and all these things are happening. And so, you, you know, something's going to happen. It's only going to go so far. And I think what it's going to lead to is Isaiah 17, where the Bible says that Damascus will exist no more. And so when that happens, I believe we're so close to then what will lead to Ezekiel 38, 39, World War III, where Russia, Iran, Turkey, who are all enemies of Israel right now, will come down and try to evade Israel, but then God will rescue Israel from that war, and then they're going to say, man, we got to get back to serving God, because He delivered us like in the old days. But the good news, I believe, personally, we might see some rumblings like that. I don't know if we'll see the Isaiah 17, uh, where Damascus is destroyed, but if you see that, I'm telling you, the rapture is closer than anything. Because I believe we will be out of here before World War III starts. Personally, that's how I feel. It could go either way. We might see the beginning of it or whatever. But I personally believe that the rapture will occur before World War III. And you might say, Pastor, why? Because I believe there's Christians in Russia. I believe there's Christians in other places. And I believe God wants to remove the Christians before this major war happens. Again, that's His grace. Right? Remember... God had to get, sent angels to get Lot and his wife out before judgment came on Sodom and Gomorrah. So God always painted pictures in the Old Testament. He will not allow the righteous to suffer, in, in other words, with the unbeliever. Amen? Thank God for the grace of God, right? And so, and so, and so, I, I, guys, I've studied this since 1982. I've been a believer since 1982. And end times was one of my one of my things that actually got me to receive the Lord. So, so it's something that I've seen. And, and so yes, I do believe the rapture will happen before that. And so you've just seen the signs. But I want to show you, if you want to get that video ready, I want to show you, because remember during Revelation, I talked to you about that the Antichrist is going to raise up an image, uh, actually the false prophet, to worship the Antichrist. And if anybody doesn't worship the Antichrist, they, will, they have to first receive a mark on their forehead or on their uh, right hand. Uh, to buy or sell and if they don't 
they can't buy or sell. Isn't it funny? We've been seeing some rumblings because of the pandemic and the, and the V. The, uh, sometimes I'm careful to say the V word because they might X your video if you mention vaccine. Uh, so, so a lot of these guys say the word V, the, the, <laughs> the shot, you know, whatever you want to call it. But I want to show you, this, this came out on the Today Show. So to show you, this is, this is, you know, this is on the Today Show. And if you go ahead and lower the lights and show that for a second, and you can go ahead and show that. And turn it on with the volume. Not that one. <laughs> That's a song. But he's got, you probably have to click the play on that one. You can turn them all off if you want, yeah. Can you get it going? There it is, right there to your left corner. To play it on the left side of the screen. There you go. And volume. Turn it up. You got the app, the thing speakers on the... Tourist attractions and we... Turn it up a little higher. Go higher. Selfies. Public art really allows us to engage with places in a new way. You know, people question, what is this? Why is it here? We discover new areas of our city. We get excited about the places where we live. At its best, public art challenges us, sparking big conversations about civic issues. Last month, marking Earth Day, a new climate change exhibit opening up in Canton, New Jersey. On site, there's a 15-foot-tall steel trash collecting creature and a machine where mealworms eat styrofoam, all to combat illegal dumping in the city. That art is so beautiful. Because it's dynamic and makes us excited and brings us together, it's a great way to start these conversations. It can also bring mega tourist dollars and support the local economy. On this side of the pond, a group of entrepreneurs are trying to fund an ambitious project to do just that. It's part statue, part business, part museum, part foundation, part gathering place, all somehow in one experience. I mean, it's gigantic, and it's unusual, and it's magnificent, and it uses technology actually to celebrate humanity. It's a giant, more than 10 stories high, wrapped in an LED skin. It moves its head and its arms, too. The designers say it's all about human potential and a greener future. The world has to change, and the giant wants to be part of this change and inspire people to reach their full potential and help save this planet. Their goal, put a colossal statue in 21 cities, each one highlighting the giants in their community. It's going to look into the communities and it's going to offer something really positive and, and also something fun and also something inspiring. And no need to take a traditional selfie, the <laughs> giant does it for you. And after the year we've all had, reconnecting locally and globally is exactly what we need. Now guys, the whole idea is that the giant, these giant statues will showcase giants in their community. Well, we thought we would highlight and showcase one of the giants in ours. Take a look at this. It's Al on wow. the giant statue. I love it. I love it. I love it. I've never seen it. It's so cool. Yeah. So I think more thin. So you're on a, so you're on a Doppler <laughs> radar and now... Yeah. That's a, I, would, I would go and visit that. I'd take a selfie with that. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, awesome. except it doesn't exist, but that's what I'm saying. One hey, day. Hey, Molly, how much are these things going to cost? Do we know? Steep, steep price tag, guys. So they're looking at about 18 million per statue. Wow. You're so it could be it. about two, three years until we see that first giant. Okay. Worth it, though, if we can see Al up there. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Molly. Thank you, Molly. Definitely. All right. Interesting, right? Go ahead and put the lights back on. They said it'll take them two to three years to build something like that. 21, giant, uh, 21 cities, they want to come into 21 cities, and Phoenix is one of them. They want to come to Phoenix and, and do one of those giants here too. In fact, Phoenix was mentioned a lot in this, and Phoenix was mentioned a lot in it and so forth. Again, why am I bringing that up? The fact that the technology is here so that this false prophet will cause some image, and here's what's interesting. You know what's interesting about this? It said it's 10 story tall. 
it almost relates to Nebuchadnezzar's statue that he had built, which was uh, 60 by 6. There's your, there's your numbers. 666. Six, six. 60, 60 by 60 by 6 cubits. Basically, it's 90-something feet tall by 9 feet wide. So just, see, God is so smart. He puts it in the story what's going to happen in the future. So it's almost like the story of Nebuchadnezzar, it's really telling the story of what's going to happen in the last days that the, that the Antichrist will, uh, you know, false prophet will raise up an image of the Antichrist to be worshipped. And if you don't, you know, worship the image or receive the mark, you cannot buy or sell. Notice, and, and if you see the other video, it says, discover the giant in you. And, and notice, it's all new age thinking. It's new age thinking. And, and you know, we're going to save the planet by doing this. We're going to come together. Yeah, it's going to start out a party, but then they're, I don't know, they'll start bowing down. I mean, I don't know. But you see what I'm saying? The fact that they're, I'm bringing it up because the fact that they're thinking this way, they're thinking this way, they're thinking this way is proof that the time that we're living in. It's preparing people. So when we get raptured, then this will, notice two to three years, they can make it. 18 million dollars 6 plus 6 plus 6 is 18 uh, there's just a lot of coincidences but it, very interesting but, but again I bring that up because it's just the time we're living in you know all these things are being prepared it, it's right in front of us but I think we're so busy with our own lives we don't see how the world here's another thing that came up uh, the, the government came out with a report about UFOs and here's what they said they, they says they cannot deny, they can't explain it, but they cannot deny that UFOs exist. Let me tell you very plain what those UFOs are. They're demons. They're demons that have manifested themselves in different ways. Why? Because UFOs didn't start coming until just recently. Why? Because the enemy has to change to the times. He knew we're in a time of technology. Why? Because when the rapture happens, that's why you started seeing Star Wars and all these movies back in the 70s and whatever. All these movies are painting a picture of aliens and whatever. And so when the rapture happens, the talk is going to be, look, the world has evolved and these Christians that are you know, cramping our lifestyle are now gone and praise God now we can go and be what you know, we were created to be through evolution and so, and so Christians will be out of here and they're gonna, the enemy is going to use that as a lie that aliens came and took these bad Christians away people you think pastor how can that be true because I heard of another minister that, that this is the talk that's going on through people who are witches and whatever and that's what they're telling their people demons are telling them that aliens are coming and you guys and the people that remain the, the, the aliens are going to tell them you guys are the ones that are the good ones you guys are the ones these other people they're old fashioned they believe the Bible they believe the knowledge that's outdated you guys have evolved so they have been removed and now I can be free to do whatever you want. You can marry your dog if you want. It won't matter anymore. You're free because we don't longer have those Christians that, that have been cramping our style. That's what's going to happen. That's, that's all. That, in, fact, in fact, there's a new recent movie, and I think I heard it in Netflix, uh, that's coming out, Netflix, where do you know what they're doing? This kid comes out with horns. And he's, and they call it the innocents. And, and the people, us, we're the ones that are the bad ones, destroy this world, and so God, and these innocents are coming. And you see, you look at a nursery, and there are these babies with little wings on them, being born. Again, it's painting a picture of what's going to happen in these last days and so forth. Now, and, and so, and, and here's the other thing, again, now, we can get in the debate on the back. I don't want to get into that. That's not the point. The point that I want to get across, another thing that's happening, for example, on June 9th, on USA Today, it says the 178th healthcare workers were suspended from the Houston Methodist Hospital System for refusing the COVID-19 vaccination. So this thing will, you know what I'm saying? Again, again, you, you have to pray whether you should take it or not because again you, you need to know there's people I mean I just heard another one a teenager 13 year that died taking it you better know that you know that you know that you're supposed to you just don't take it 
you need to see God about it. Now, uh, and then the San Diego Tribune even talked about uh, that, that the gov Governor Newsom is planning a vaccination verification system is coming very shortly, he says. This was June 11th. That Cal California is planning on getting a vaccination verification system very shortly. Amen. So, so yeah, so uh, again, again, these are all things that are being set up. Why? To prepare people because when the Antichrist does come on the scene midway of the tribulation, he will require everyone to receive a mark either on their right hand or their forehead uh, before they could buy or sell. Amen. So again, it's all happening, people. I, I, I don't, you know, there's, there's more we could talk about, but this is the basics I want to get you out for now. Again, this is preparing us for Jesus to come soon. Amen?